City Council race in Westminster could hinge on a single major issue, water. Political specialist Sean Boyd is live in Westminster for us where water rates went up this year. Sean, it really was a significant hike. Yeah, Britt, it's an increase of 16 to 36 percent, depending on how much water you use. The city says it's to pay for a new water treatment plant and repairs along its main 22-mile sewer line, big projects that only come along every 50 years. But they came in an election year in Westminster, and some voters are marking ballots based on their water bills. When Steve Mathis got his water bill last month, he thought... Like, this can't be right. August of last year, he says his bill was about $100. This year... 272.72. What is that, 150 percent? Do you take a lot of showers? No. No, I don't. Mathis among those reeling from an increase in water rates. So we are sensitive to the impact that increases do have. Max Kirschbaum, head of Westminster Public Works, says a third of the city's water infrastructure is at the end of its life. The increase allows the city to bond for $100 million over the next 20 years to replace it. Shouldn't you have noticed that sooner? We don't collect or increase rates and fees before that money is needed. We don't want to do the work before it's needed. We try to ensure that we're, we're getting the maximum benefit out of every asset. It's going to make us a less attractive city. You don't need to drive more than a couple blocks to see all the browned out lawns. The issue has made its way into the city council race. Candidate Bruce Baker promising to repeal the increase. That ranges between 16 and 36 percent a month, depending on how much water you use. The money is there. They just don't want to spend it. They want more from the ratepayers. Every dollar is put back into this infrastructure. Think of that 20, 30 years ago and start stockpiling some money to replace this stuff, wouldn't you? It's and Baker says Westminster's water rates are now the highest along the front range outside of Boulder. But Kirschbaum says the age of other cities' infrastructure may differ. He says the city did a survey and most residents are satisfied with the water they get for the money. The election, the survey that matters, of course. <laughs> Live in Westminster, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.